We were with head coach Jane Larivier and coach. You guys are heading into the, the head of the lake this week, but let's talk first about the head of the Spokane, the last regatta you wrote in. Can you just recap that a little bit and what you thought about the team at the head of the Spokane? Well, we had um, you know some specific goals to accomplish, and I think for the most part we were able to do that. Uh, it was the first race in um, you know fours and eights, and that's always uh, you know just takes a little while to kind of grease your wheels and figure out what, what's going on with the boat speed. But yeah, I was happy with how everything went, and I think uh, it was a great team event. Like there was all, we raced everybody, and the bus was full, and we had tons of support, and you know. Gonzaga is always an excellent rival, and we have a very friendly uh, rivalry, so it's uh, it's a great day, and the weather cooperated. It warmed up when we first got there. It was quite cold, but it turned out to be a great day. And for those rowers to go from the fours in the first heat for most of them into the eights in the second heat, what how does that fit into the fall plan? I know you guys are really trying to get fit, I think, in the fall to, to head into mm -hmm. spring. Can you just talk about that progress and how the fall has been going in general? Yeah, well, the fall's been going well. I mean, as you know, it's been quite wet, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, that's, uh, it's really only wind that we're bothered by. So, you know, we've had a little bit of that, but for the most part, the preparation has been really good. And, um, you know, part of the reason we raced twice at Gonzaga is because the course was a little bit short. Um, rel you know, I don't know if it was due to con some construction or there was some reason, but we decided to run them down twice. And I think it was really good because, um, you know, you, you, go down once and then everybody in their head has the, the thing that they would like to improve. And so they're highly motivated, they're warmed up. Um, it was a fairly fast race because of the current. And so, yeah, I think, you know, what we set out to accomplish was, was accomplished. Do you measure the team at this point in the season in terms of where you expect them to be and where you think they are? Do you think they're ahead of schedules or a little more work to do? What, what do you There's see? always work to do. Like, um, you know, I'm very optimistic. I mean, we, we have, um, you know, we don't have a young crew this year. Like, we, we have some great youth, but we are being driven by juniors and seniors right now, and that's a nice, it's a nice thing to have happen every now and again, you know. So there's lots of maturity and, um, you know, people with a tremendous amount of experience bringing that experience into the boat. And, uh, you know, the splits, the things that we can measure have been good, but, you know, it, it's... It's the Pac-12, and so we're really excited to go to Head of the Lake and, um, you know, finally get to test ourselves against our peer schools, you know, because Washington and Stanford will be there, as well as some other competitive schools. So, you know, that's what it's all about. And you talk about that Head of the Lake. This is a pretty fun regatta. It's a huge regatta, mm -hmm. a lot of people there, a lot of different clubs and schools. Can you just tell me about the Head of the Lake in general, and then um, I know you guys have the big Pocock turn as well, which I think raises some some things that the coxswains and the is it called the pocock turn i think that's what they they dubbed Whoa, it on the website huh. <laughs> well we have a pocock so maybe it will know the turn <laughs> just roll yeah. automatic turn <laughs> yeah well uh yeah it's you know i mean we were at brentwood i know sorry not brentwood we were at burnaby lake a month ago mm -hmm. and that was a hairpin turn of 180 degrees basically and so this turn is going to be a piece of cake you know, what is it, like 135 or something, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it makes for, you know, it's always exciting, especially when, you know, if you get a bunch of boats, uh, you know, bunched up, and it's towards the end of the race, you know, there's maybe eight, 900 meters left at that point, and, you know, then it becomes a little bit like NASCAR, you know, getting bunched up around the corners, and you got to get out in the straightaway to find some open water sometimes. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really good. It's, it's kind of a coaching... Um, uh, like we can, we watch from the Mont Lake Cut Bridge, mm -hmm. and uh, you can really see the steering. Like so, it's a bit of a coxswain's nightmare because yeah. you can see exactly where they're going, and you're just like, please go straight, please go straight. But um, yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's, it really is fun and um, following racing. Like we've got a couple new things this year. We there's an alumni boat. Uh, entered, which will be great for, you know, and we're hoping to reconnect with a lot of our old parents and alumni and supporters and stuff like that. And we're, um, you know, kind of spearheaded by uh, one of our favorites, Mama Jones. She's uh, got her team of uh, worker bees and they're going to make us like kind of a brunch after, after racing. So anybody who is around in the area should head out to the parking lot at UW after racing and um, meet up with uh, the current kids on the team and you know, be lovely to see some alumni out there.